Okay, here's the quick rundown on Kafir's cockpit. She's uh, ready for taxi testing. We've got uh, the cowling on, everything is on the airplane. There's plenty of cleanup work to be done. There's still hours and hours and hours of cleanup work to be done. But here's the basic layout. Down, down to the bottom here, we've got uh, dyno and avionics for, uh, for audio, um, audio control down here on the pilot side. The throttle and uh, mixture set. Right now, mixture is, uh, is wired in reverse of what you would normally see in an aircraft forward is actually cut off. Starter button, uh, flap button here, obviously white compass uh, clock. This is uh, my light panel for external lights. I've got uh, internal lights, external lights, and then I've got my flash. I can adjust the flash mode here for uh, multiple different types of flashes. I can go from one strobe to alternating strobes to double flash, all the way up to four flash. There are multiple, multiple setups here. Dyna and avionics covers most of it. This is my fuel warning panel for the left and right wing. If uh, the light comes on and these, these LEDs are plenty bright, that tells me that I've got just a couple gallons in the, in the given wing, uh, left or right. And VOR ILS, complements of Narco, uh, another VOR. Radio, here's my uh, cutoff for fuel. Master for uh, avionics and uh, electronics. Uh, this is the master for the main pumps uh, from the fuselage tank up to the engine. This is the circuit breaker for the wing tanks. Ignition master, and this is the coil select for uh, coil select down for points and condenser, and then up is uh, the electronic ignition. So and centers off. So I've got multiple ways to to cut off power to the engine. VSI, G meter. And uh, this is a backup altimeter. Actually, it's, it's designed to be a pressure altimeter inside the cockpit. Uh, this is out of a, uh, an A4 Skyhawk, um, which I actually flew in training, which was awesome. But it's internal. It also serves as a uh, rough altimeter. Backup Dynan and my, my uh, circuit breakers on that side. This stick on this side is just a, uh, a basic uh, Thrustmaster stick that's been modified to go in the aircraft. And the stick here, which I didn't talk about, but uh, talk about now, is uh, uh, out of an F4 uh, Phantom. And all of the switches are functional, and I'm not going to bother going over all of that. So uh, that's the cockpit. We're going to get started here, and I'll uh, walk around and show you what it uh, show you what she sounds like here. And you can see the dynans coming up here. And it's already given me messages. It just uh, it just uh, announced a, uh, a message in my headset that it was coming on. The neat thing about Dynan, there are 180 different warnings that it can give you uh, if things are not going the way they're supposed to. Comes up right now on the uh, engine display. I can set the screens for uh, what I would for normal flight. So I've got my flight director on this side, map on this side, and then in the center I've got my engine. So we'll go ahead and get started here. I've already had the engine running a little bit, so I'm just going to crack the uh, mixture a little bit. The fuel is now open. Give her a boost. The prop!
Thank you.